Hello everyone and welcome back to Quick Med where medicine is explained quickly and easily. In this video we will be discussing iron studies focusing on ferritin, transferrin, serum iron, and TIBC or total iron binding capacity so let's get to it. Let's first start with ferritin which is the main iron storage protein and this is where we store excess iron. Iron is mainly stored in the liver, bone marrow, and macrophages. Let's now move on to our circulation which is where we find our serum iron or our circulating iron. Most of our serum iron is bound to transferrin, which is our main iron transport protein here. So if we look at this diagram here, we see our serum iron, which is mainly bound to transferrin, but there is an open binding site on one of the transferrin molecules here. And you can also see a serum iron here that is not bound to transferrin, but the majority of serum iron is bound to transferrin. So let's recap what we just covered. We've already covered three different lab results that we would find on an iron panel. So first is ferritin, which is your iron storage. And then we have transferrin, which is your transport protein. And then finally, we have our serum iron, which is a measure of our circulating iron. Now, we do have another parameter or laboratory measure known as our TIBC, our total iron binding capacity. And this one can be a little confusing, so let's go through this diagram to get a better understanding of this. So in this diagram here, we have eight transferrin molecules, four of which are bound to serum iron, and four of which still have open binding sites. Our four transferrin molecules here, which are bound to iron, is known as our serum iron here. And then our remaining transferrin that is not bound to iron is known as the unbound iron binding capacity or UIBC. So if we add the serum iron to the UIBC, we get our total iron binding capacity or our TIBC. The TIBC essentially reflects all of the available iron binding sites on transferrin, whether they are occupied by serum iron or not. Now, if we wanted to calculate all of the transferrin that is actually saturated with iron, we would use a different formula here. So you would take the serum iron and divide this by the total iron binding capacity. So if you think about it, the TIBC and transferrin are essentially different measures of the same parameter. But the TIBC here is giving you a measure of all of the available iron binding sites in circulation, and your transferrin saturation is only reflecting the transferrin molecules that are actually saturated with iron. All right, everyone, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. In our next video, we will discuss iron studies and how to interpret them with a variety of different diagnoses. So stay tuned for that. And as always, good luck studying, everyone.